brother right along Thought you a spat, now you all never gotta go I'ma drop the jewels on them You gotta go through this shit here with your heart You can't snoop So let's get into this video So Bill Bellamy says he's being forced to make the impossible choice After the death of his father and father-in-law due to an unauthorized memorial service planned by his sister. So you may know him from the movie Get and Played with Vivica Fox. Also the movie How to Be a Player. It's a really funny movie if you haven't seen it. And the movie The Brothers with D.L. Hughley, Shamar Moore, Morris Chestnut. Right now I'm going to play a quick clip from that movie if you haven't seen it you man you can't change i mean what about when you was talking to the girl and her mom and uh, then they both found out i remember, out. That. I remember <laughs> that okay you know what you can laugh if you want to and i'll admit it i did it but that was a long time ago i'm not like that anymore you know what if you changing terry i'm changing too it's about time. as of right now i'm through with sister oh, oh here we go again Come on, it's a broken record i'm Reed. serious this time man i mean you know you know carla right the judge she locked me up because she's an evil, bitter black woman. Okay, right, right. Did you and it also looks that? like he's going to be in the new House Party movie starring Jacob Lattimore. I see DC Young Fly. So it looks like they're remaking the House Party movie and it's going to be on HBO Max on July 22nd. So make sure y'all check that out. Hey, like I was saying, Bill Bellamy is grieving over the loss of his father and father-in-law who died within weeks of each other. So it looks like he reached out to TMZ and told them that when he was out of the country, his sister Karen made plans to lay their father William to rest. The same weekend, Bill and his wife had already planned his father-in-law service in a different state. All right, now according to documents filed in New Jersey, Bill actually attempted to get a restraining order which would force his sister Karen to change the date, but he was denied on to tell TMZ that in a span of less than a month I lost both my father and father-in-law these two wonderful men that have impacted my life and my family's lives in ways that are beyond words he goes on to say my effort to stop an unauthorized memorial service for my father which was planned without my knowledge was not successful I am devastated my family has to choose to miss one service for another. No one should ever have to be in that position. I agree. There are no words to express how disappointed I am at not being a part of laying my father to rest, but I look forward to celebrating my father's life and legacy with my wife, his grandchildren, and our close friends in our own time. I think it's really sad they had um, to choose between which funerals to go to really messed up i want to end on a positive note here's a quick little clip from deaf comedy right thank you for watching this video if you stayed this long and watched this video the whole video shout out to you make sure you are subscribed to my channel and like this video